Well, the university prepares to roll out its strategic plan. Investigations into alleged Title IX violations are ongoing. Few are covering the developments as closely as the Arizona Daily Star's Caitlin Schmidt. She shared how the community is responding to what she's found so far. A lot of activity here at the University of Arizona in the last year. Some new policy changes, things that are taking the university in a new direction. Have we seen any actual change at this point? Some hiring of some new people, of course. Um, I haven't been notified that anybody new has been hired yet. I, I was told they would let us know. Um, but, you know, they're, they're taking action to hire that new Deputy Title IX Coordinator. Um, we have those two um, victim advocates that will be coming in, and then we have the one advocate for um, those who are accused of Title IX issues to help them navigate the system. So I'm not sure where they are with the hiring process, but the adding of the positions, I think, is promising. In your work of investigating what's happening at the University of Arizona, you have found that this affects sort of the gamut from a, a high-level administrator down to a student. Yes. Yes. And um, I mean, since I started covering these issues, I've had victims approach me and reach out to tell their stories. So people are paying attention. We're at a point right now where women are really wanting to empower themselves. And I think it's nice to see that when they run into trouble, you know, dealing with the school, getting those kinds of things handled that they feel like they can come to reporters to get some help in airing their grievances or getting their side of the story out. This is significant though because in a community of this size, a university, this, you know, this institution in in southern Arizona, it is unique to have so many cases in such a short span of time. Yeah, it, yeah, it it was a lot all at once. I mean, between October and February, we had two federal lawsuits. Um, we had the claim against Rich Rodriguez that has not progressed into a lawsuit, but it was still there. He was added to the Title IX lawsuit. We have the Craig Carter lawsuit. It's, it's a lot of legal activity. Um, it was enough so that my job as a cops reporter quickly changed to a sports investigative reporter because of how often crime and courts were overlapping with sports here at the U of A. What does it do to the reputation of the university, or does it remain to be seen? I think, I mean, I think that remains to be seen. I think they've taken a hit. Um, they're doing the right thing now. Maybe they're doing the right thing a little later than they should have, but they're doing it now. And I think it's important that everyone watches how they proceed from here on out, you know, if they're serious about this. So earlier this week when President Robbins was here, he indicated that he and Dave Hickey had come in at a time when things had already been in motion. So they're sort of having to um, process things that took place under different leadership. Are the right people being held accountable now? Greg Byrne, uh, he's gone, but we, we get lots of emails and phone calls from readers asking when he is going to have to answer for this. I don't know that he ever will, but he hasn't made any kind of statements at all, and every single one of these issues happened under his watch. Do you get the sense that perhaps the public here in Southern Arizona is still skeptical of everything that's happening because it cannot be the University of Arizona? We, we do, yes. There, yeah, there, I mean, there's a little bit of fan mentality with these things where, um, I, I spoke to an expert about this. Sometimes people so deeply identify with their team or their school that they just can't accept when an allegation like this comes out. It's crushing to who they are as a person, so it's easier for them to deny it and say it's not real and ignore it. And that, that's happening a little bit here too. This, nobody in Tucson is happy about this. It's not a good look, but I mean, we do need to realize that this is happening at universities all over the country. It's not unique to us. It's still a tragic situation, but it's, it's everywhere. Um, it's not just changes at the U of A that need to happen. It's clearly a culture change. So, you know, as, you know, as much heat as the U of A is taking, and maybe they should be taking some of that heat for some of the things that happened, they aren't the only ones. This is not indicative of strictly the University of Arizona. Yeah. It's what's happening on a national yeah. scale. It's, yeah, the university system, unfortunately. I hope that the spotlight is on the school enough at this point that these leaders are taking this seriously and they're in the thick of it and these things won't be happening again. Thank you so much, Caitlin.